Going back to school can be boring, especially if you're stuck in a class you just don't like. So in this video, I will be showing you guys how to make 5 fun toys in the classroom. That's right pranksters, this is a compilation of 5 life hacks for when you're bored in the classroom. Before we begin though, let's make sure that each and every one of you is subscribed to this channel with all the bell notifications turned on. As always, a thousand likes are appreciated. Let's get the fun started. Remember guys that we'll be using nothing but school supplies for these demonstrations. This first toy we'll be making is a classic Mexican toy that's really fun. We're gonna need a glue stick like this one. We'll start off by opening it up and removing the entire stick of glue. All we need for this is the container itself, not the glue. Next we're gonna take a foot long of string. One end we will be tying to a push pin like this. Once tied on, you will take the push pin and jam it inside an eraser cap. Try to do your best to force it all the way in. The other end of the string, we are gonna tape on to the outside edge of the glue stick container like so. Now if you guys don't have any string available, you can cut up some rubber bands and join them together to make one. Alright, at this point our toy has been completed and now it's time to have some fun. So basically the purpose of this is to swing the eraser just right in order for it to land inside the glue stick container. You can get competitive with this and challenge others. Most importantly, this is very fun and now you won't get bored in class. And if a teacher is nearby, just place a cap on and no one will suspect anything. Next, I'm gonna show you how to have some fun with the dry erase board next time you're in detention and there's no teacher supervision. Basically, all you're gonna need are some eraser caps and magnets. It's quite easy guys, and anyone can make these. Just take the magnets and push them inside the eraser caps like this. For example, I have 4 eraser caps and 4 magnets here. If the coast is clear, you're gonna draw a bullseye on the dry erase board. Try to make large circles and determine a point system. Usually the bullseye gets you more points. So once you have your bullseye ready, that's when you're gonna challenge your friends at this game. Basically, you're gonna be throwing these magnet erasers at the bullseye on the dry erase board. Don't worry though, the magnets won't break because the eraser caps will protect them. This is a really fun and challenging game as you can see right here. Whoever gets the eraser on the bullseye wins. The further away from the bullseye, the harder this gets. So test your throwing skills with this one. It's loads of fun, especially if you're stuck in detention. If you ever finish all your work before everybody else and you have some time on your hands, make yourself a fun top that spins and here's how. You'll need a glue stick like this one. Well not really the glue stick, but the cap on the glue stick. You're also gonna need a pen. Just pull apart the ink, we don't need anything else. With a pair of scissors, puncture a hole on the center of the cap. Make sure it's big enough that the ink tube can go through. Once you have a large enough opening, just feed the ink tube through it and that's pretty much it. Now we have ourselves a little fun spinning top. It's really up to you as far as how much your top will spin. The purpose of course is to keep it spinning the longest. If you get bored easily, which a lot of you guys do, you can modify it and for that you'll need a fidget spinner. So dust off your fidget spinner and put it to use. Remove the caps from the center of the fidget spinner. Take the body of the pen and push it through the center bearing. Lastly, just slide the top we created into the pen and it's ready. It looks very interesting, right? Well, let's take it for a spin. Just place it on a flat surface like a table, spin the fidget spinner and let it go. Its spin time will dramatically improve as you can see right here. It spins for way longer. It's all about having fun pranksters and for sure this top will keep you entertained. Well that's if you can get away with this in class. But if you're sneaky enough, I'm sure you can pull it off.
For this next toy hack, we'll be making a little car in the classroom. For me, building it is more fun than actually playing with it. So let me show you how it's done. You'll need a fidget spinner, four eraser caps, two small binder clips, and a pencil. Here I'll be sacrificing this pencil. With my scissors, I will get two small pieces of the pencil. Each should be about two inches long. It's simple to do. Just make an outline with a pair of scissors and snap it off with your hands. Once you have both of your pieces, put each one through a binder clip like I'm doing so right here and it should look a little something like this. It's pretty snug and the pencil won't slide out easily. Now let's work on the fidget spinner and all we're gonna do here is just remove the caps and pop out all four bearings because you will need all four as they will be our wheels. So slide a wheel on each side of the pencils that are attached to the binder clips. To keep them in place just use some eraser caps. Place them on each side and you're almost done. Once you do that to every side, this is what we're left with. The last step is to put both pieces together and for that all we need is a small magnet like this. Just use it to join both ends of the binder clips together. What I like about this magnet is that it allows our little car to be flexible. To make things a bit more fun, I'm gonna put another small binder clip on top of the magnet. Now we can handle the car with ease. Last thing we are gonna do for our little car is make some tracks for it. For that you can use a stack of staples if you have them available. Just line up two parallel rows of them and you just made a fun car you can play with in the classroom on top of your desk. Hopefully you don't get caught, would be a bummer to get your car confiscated right after you have finished building it. The last toy we're gonna make is gonna be a gag toy. Something similar to the snake in a can of peanuts prank toy. This one in particular does pop up but doesn't pop out entirely. So we are gonna be making something like this. For this toy we're gonna need a spiral notebook like this one and a glue stick. We can begin by removing the spiral from the notebook and it's quite easy. Just undo the ends and twist it off. This is not hard at all. Once you have it removed, set it aside and begin working on the glue stick. That won't be hard either because we are basically gonna do the same thing we did with the spiral. We are gonna remove the entire stick of glue from the container. We basically just need the inside of the glue container to be hollow like this. Even though there's glue residue, it's still good. Apply some hot glue on one end of the spiral and push it inside the glue stick. Make sure it sticks to the inside very well. As far as the other end of the spiral, I'm gonna attach a little bell like this one. Once it looks like this, just push the spiral inside the glue stick container. The last step is to put the cap on and we have completed our little gag toy. Basically how it works is next time someone asks to borrow your glue stick, you give them the booby trap one and they will be in for a surprise they didn't expect. When they remove the cap, the little bell that's attached to the spiral will pop out. This is so simple and easy to make as you just saw. It doesn't take up a lot of time. It's a great way to kill some time in the classroom. There you guys have it. Five ways to have fun in the classroom using everyday school supplies. Remember that even though these are fun to make and play with, it's best not to try them if you know you're gonna get in trouble. But hopefully you guys have some awesome teachers that appreciate creativeness and you won't get in trouble if you get caught playing with these. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this compilation of toys you can make in the classroom and that you guys gave this video a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, don't wait any longer. Subscribe now and turn on all notifications. I'll see you pranksters in my next video. 
Alright pranksters, if you guys want to see more life hacks like the ones I just showed you, click up here. Or if you guys are interested in pranks, click up here. You can't go wrong with either one, so click on one.